Welcome to The Three Show, everybody. I'm Vinny Paraselli. The 2020 NA 3HL Top Prospects Tournament wrapped up just over a week ago, but we are already starting to see the benefits of that great event. A historic commitment for one player and a handful of guys were signing tenders for the North American Hockey League. We've also got some incredibly important games out in the Frontier Division. Let's not waste any more time. The first of its kind, a NA 3HL player committing to a Division I school, Seamus Campbell of the St. Louis Junior Blues has committed to Quinnipiac University. The forward from the Lou was playing on the NHL side of the Top Prospects Tournament last week. He scooped up an assist in two games for the Selects Blue team. He has 26 points in 43 games with St. Louis. The 0-2 birth year also signed a NHL tender with the Aberdeen Wings. Steven Gerbis of the Northeast Generals has earned a college commitment at Top Prospects. He'll be attending Morrisville State. The forward from Bradenton, Florida has 28 goals and 100 points in 43 games a season in his 86 career games played. Gerbis has 40 goals and 138 points. He also had two assists in Attleboro. We've got plenty of tenders being signed in Massachusetts. Sean Guerin is one of the first players to sign out with the Wichita Falls Warriors. The Rochester Grizzlies goaltender is 7-3-1 in 13 appearances this season. He is sporting a 226 goals against average and an 897 save percentage to go with two shutouts. Tal Halliday of the Grand City Lumberjacks has signed a tender with the Minot Minotauros. The defenseman has played six games with the Toros this year and has one assist and a plus four rating. For Granite City, he's scored four times and has 20 points in 28 games. Finally, Dylan Rumkey of the Yellowstone Quake has signed a tender with the Johnstown Tomhawks. The Ohio native is currently in his second season with the Quake and leads the team with 40 goals and 70 points. In his NA3HL career, he has 63 goals and 115 points in 76 games. He also had a goal and an assist in his three games at Top Prospects. Coming up this weekend, we've got the Frontier Division Regular Season Championship on the line. Sheridan and Bozeman meet up in their final games of the season. Sheridan needs to win both games in regulation in order to take home the title. If Bozeman gets a point in either of the two games, they are your regular season champions. Then, because we have six teams making the playoffs in the Frontier Division, the battle for the sixth seed is on. Missoula is one point up on Helena, and the two teams play each other on Saturday night. Now, the game could be for nothing if, if Missoula wins on Friday against Great Falls and Helena loses to Butte. But if both teams have the same result or Helena wins and Missoula loses, it will set up basically a winner go home game on Saturday night. So we'll have a little taste of the playoffs on Saturday. We'll have to wait and see what happens. 35 games on the weekend. A lot of them will have a big effect on seeding in the postseason. Watch all the games live on Hockey TV or follow along online at NA3HL.com. We'll be back next week to preview the final weekend of the regular season and the first round of the playoffs happening out in the Frontier Division. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Vinny Paraselli, and we'll see you next week on The Three Show.